Welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story is brought to us by one of our listeners, Parker. Hey, Parker! He sent us a message on our Instagram page, which you can do too, Kid Short Stories, or go to our website, kidshortstories.org, to send us your idea, and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Parker, are you ready for this awesome story? Me too. Let's go! One day, Parker woke up really excited for the day. And you know where Parker lived? He lived a very long time ago. He lived in dinosaur times. Oh my gosh, yes. Parker lived with dinosaurs. Wouldn't that be so cool? Oh my gosh, he loved it. And he had a really cool best friend. So do you know how we have cool friends like a dog or a cat or other fun creatures around our house? Yeah. Well, Parker, he had an Allosaurus that he could ride. Almost kind of like a horse. But it was a dinosaur! Can you imagine jumping on the back of a friendly dinosaur and running around? Oh my gosh, that would be so cool! I really wish I was like Parker. You too? Yeah. And so Parker, every day, he had all these cool jobs that he had to do. It was kind of like working on a farm, because in dinosaur times, there weren't grocery stores. Do you guys know what a grocery store is? Yeah, it's where we get all our food, right? Yeah, well, Parker couldn't go to the grocery store because there weren't grocery stores. And so he had to grow all of his food, his fruit and vegetables, and his buddy, his Allosaurus friend named Al, was really helpful in making sure the farm worked properly and that no dinosaurs would try and steal their food. One day, something crazy happened. Parker, who was riding his Allosaurus, remember his name? Yeah, Al. And he was riding around the farm, looking to make sure everything had enough sunlight and enough water to grow and that, wait a second, what is that? (gasps) Oh my gosh, there were two little dinosaurs sneaking fruit off of one of our fruit trees. We gotta go stop them. And so Parker rode on his dinosaur all the way over and said, guys, get out of here. You can't steal our food. And the two dinosaurs those two little ones, they looked up at Parker, (gasps) we're sorry, and they started running. Oh my gosh, Parker said, oh, we can't let them steal our food. And then he watched as those two little dinosaurs, he didn't know what they were called, but they were really little, green and black and blue and red spots. Hmm, never seen something like that before, but they... They didn't run very far, and they just kind of ran into the forest and sat there. Kind of looked like they didn't have anywhere to go. Let's go check it out, Al. Parker hopped back on Al, and they rode over to where those two little dinosaurs were. And And the dinosaurs, they were just sitting there. Parker said, hey, why were you guys trying to steal our food? Don't you guys have your own food to eat? And the two dinosaurs looked up and said, well, you see our farm where we live, we didn't get any rain this year. And so our food didn't grow and we're really hungry. Parker couldn't believe it. These two dinosaurs actually didn't have food to eat. (gasps) That's terrible. Can you imagine if you were really, really hungry You went over to your refrigerator or your pantry and there wasn't food there? Oh, that would be really scary, right? Yeah. And these two dinosaurs, that's what happened to them. And so they were really hungry and they didn't know what to do. What do you think Parker should do? Should he help them? Yeah! And so Parker came up with a really cool idea. And he ran back with his Allosaurus 
back to the house and got a big basket. And he filled the basket up with all these yummy fruits and vegetables and potatoes and all kinds of yummy things. And brought it back to the two little dinosaurs and said, all right, guys, guess what? I actually have oh, a lot of food. Um, my plants did really good this year. And they're growing a lot, and there's a lot, there's really plenty of food. So, how about I give you this basket, okay? And that will help fill your tummies up. And then tomorrow, why don't you come back and you can work with me on the farm? We can do it together, and you can have some of the food that the farm grows. How does that sound? The two dinosaurs couldn't believe it. They were so thankful. They said, thank you, Parker. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Doesn't it feel good to share and to help somebody? It does. I know. I love to share and help other people too. And so does Parker. And Parker helped out these two dinosaurs, not only just giving them some food to fill their tummies right now, but he also got them a job so that they can continue to work and earn more food and oh my gosh it is so cool to help other people and parker saved the day again the end wow isn't it cool to help people that need something Yeah, it is so cool. So I want you guys, there's a lot of people in the world that need something right now that might be food or something else. And so I want you and your parents to find something that you can be generous with. Find something fun that you can help someone that needs something. All right? I want you to do that and then go over to our Instagram page and share what you did with me. I would love to see how you are like Parker because Parker, he was awesome and shared the food on his farm with these two new friends. And so that can be you too, all right? Have a great day and we'll see you next time on Kids Short Stories, bye.